Hello, good morning. Now you're joining in Stickies News with me, Rizka Nur Istikoma. Today on 27 March 2021. Well, in the next five minutes later, I will give you the daily news update around Banyuwangi. The coronavirus has paralyzed many activities from economy to education. Diana is the winner of regional competence competition, a student from 12 Hotel Accommodation 1 of Vocational High School 1 Banyuwangi. Student competence competition is held by the government, both regional and national. As many as seven regional competitions began to held 8 March 2021. Well, we will connect to Astri Shafani with Diana at Edotel Banyuwangi. Astri, you may start your report from Edotel Banyuwangi. Thanks, Triska. Good morning, viewers. Now I'm here at Edotel Banyuwangi. Here is Diana, a participant, also the winner of the Students' Competence Competition. Hello, Diana. Hello, good morning. Would you please tell a little about yourself? Yes, definitely. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Diana Rahayu, but you can call me Diana. Anyway, how are you today? But during COVID-19, also this pandemic, we should be uh, try to be more strong as a we before, right? As far as I heard, you got the first champion of the com students' competence competitions. And the things that I want to ask you is, what's your preparation to join the competition? Well, actually, a lot of preparations uh, for myself. Basically, I try to reread about a lot of Banyuwangi tourism and also the destinations here. And I try to explore more about what I can offer to my guests during their visit to our hotel as well. And I try to learn a lot about SOPs based on the World Skill Competition uh, 2020 at Berlin last year. So, so a lot of preparation for myself is about uh, we read the SOPs and also the destination that I can offer to my guests. To join the competition, we must be confident in ourselves. What motivation that make you feel so confident? Uh, I am confident all the time. Uh, it should be also uh, spread a lot of positivity when I try to uh, feel confident myself for my environment. We know that you won the regional competitions and next month you will join the next competitions on at province levels. What's your plan to join the next competition? For my plan to join the next competition, I think uh, I should be developing and improving myself. As I told you before, I try to reread a lot of SOPs because a lot of weaknesses uh, for myself at that point. So I try to reread a lot about SOPs or standard operating procedures. And uh, I think I try to prepare myself about that too because uh, the industrial uh, will be so different if uh, you try to compare the industrial, the real industrial with any other practice at school. So I try to prepare myself as a really hotel front liner uh, as I join the competition for the next level at Province State. Thank you, Diana, for your time. You're welcome, it's my pleasure. Careful preparation is the key to success in competition and also strong motivation can be encouraged you to reach your success. I'm Astri. Back to the studio, Riska. Thank you, Astri. You are with me now. Well, viewers, to find out more, let us connect to Bunga with Mr. Joko as a teacher of Vocational High School 1 Banyuwangi. Bunga, you may start your report with Mr. Joko. Alright, thank you, Riska. Well, viewers, good morning. Here is Mr. Joko, one of the teacher of Vocational High School, Wan Banyuwangi. Mr. Joko, good morning. Hello, good morning. In this occasion, I want to ask you some question about how to educate prestige students. Well, Mr. Joko, we all know that your school just got champion of students competence competition. Here, I just want to know about hotel accommodation student who won the competition. Mr. Joko, according to you, what do you think about prestige student? Prestige student is not only depends on the smartness and intelligence student actually, but I always did the student three things in life, not in at school, but in that three things are IQ, IQ is intelligence and smartness 
and also AQ communication including behavior and manner and also SQ pray to God. If you want to be successful man or successful woman then do that three things in balance. Thank you. Okay. Then next question. Mr. Joko, how to educate to motivation your students to be a skillful and qualified student? That three things uh, determine our successful in life. Mm -hmm. Not depends on the teachers, not the parents, but three things. If the students do the three things, IQ, AQ, SQ in balance, then there will be everything will be the best for, for, for the students themselves. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your answers, Mr. Joko. Well, viewers, from this interview, we can conclude that to be a prestigious student or best student, not only support from parents and school, but also demanding our IQ, AQ, and SQ, they have to be balanced. I'm Bunga, back to the studio, Rizka. Thank you, Bunga. A pandemic may close our school, but not our enthusiasm. Even though this competition was done online, it did not dampen the enthusiasm of young people to take part on this competition. With the new normal, we must have new motivation and new spirit. Well, this is the end of Stickers News today. I'm Rizka Nur Istikoma. Keep physical distancing and stay healthy. Bye!